Hi everyone, welcome to A Work in Progress. I'm Joanne. In today's video, I have something a little bit different for you. I have eight goodie bags here that I have purchased over about the last week or so that I thought might be kind of fun if we opened them up here together. Um, some of the things are going to be for resale and some of them I'm going to be keeping for myself. Whatever I'm keeping for myself, I will let you know and then you can just uh, assume that everything else is for resale. So let's go ahead and get started opening up these goodie bags. If you've been watching me for a while, you know how much I love, love, love goodie bags. And to me, a goodie bag is this. It is the bag that the thrift store puts together with all kinds of just different little goodies in it. Sometimes they make sense together. Sometimes they don't. Sometimes you buy a bag or I buy a bag simply because there's one item in the bag that I want to get. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. And I'll actually, I'll go ahead and get started with this one here. Uh, this was $2, this bag. And it looks like there's just a lot of sewing notions in here. And there could be some vintage pieces in here. We'll have to see. Uh, there's some random uh, scraps of fabric and some ribbon, some uh, zigzag here. Um, just a random piece of fabric. I don't know how good this one is going to turn out to be. Uh, some more uh, binding. Uh, what is this? This is a little bag. So now this is one that doesn't make sense with the rest of everything that's in here. It's a bunch of little, it almost look like little token things. There are the different seasons. There's some Halloween and such in there. So that makes no sense with the rest of what's in this bag. Um, there's some more ribbon. Some of this I might be able to use for packaging. Oh, we do have some buttons. Okay, so we have a small bag of buttons here and some other just kind of different closures in that. Uh, another little random button. Oh, fusing tape. Okay, that'll be good. I'll keep that and put that away in my stash. You never know when you could use that. What is this? This is a... Uh, I don't know how to pronounce that. Duetal Fabric Master? I'm not sure what this is. It says something about... Oh, it might be... See the picture on the back? I forget what those are called, these end pieces here, but it might be to help make swags for um, your windows. So there are one, two, uh, three. This one may have been opened and four of them in there four of them in there i think these might be vintage they do not have a uh, barcode on them so these might be vintage and then the last in there is just some random little pieces of ribbon so that was an okay bag nothing really spectacular in that one here we have another one with some no sewing notions and such and already we can see some buttons in this one so this might be a fun one. Uh, first we have this just this little dish. Oh, that's kind of cute. Oh, it's got a nick in it. That's a shame. That's a pretty little dish right there made in Japan. So we have that. Additionally, we have, what is this? Oh, shoelaces. Actually needed these a while ago. Now we get them. Uh, some just random buttons on cards. So we're getting some buttons out of this one. There are a few more, and some more binding here. A box of tan writ dye from Kmart. Some more binding. Some of it is unopened. I don't know if this is vintage or not. It's kind of hard to tell. And then here's the fun thing in here. We have this box. There's a couple of little random bobbins in here, but this is the fun thing in this bag. This little plastic container of buttons. So I can't, I'm not gonna take them all out. That'll take a whole video to go through all of them, but there's some interesting buttons in here. So that was a good, I mean, for $2, is that what that one was? Yeah, this one was $2, that was pretty good. The buttons alone made that one worthwhile, I think. Okay, uh, let me see if we have any. Here's another one along those same lines. Again, this one was $2. And let's see what we have in here. Some more buttons. Ah, we've got a nice jar just full of them. 
Oh, look at that pretty one right there. Can you see that? Oh, that's a, that's real pretty. It's a very, very pale pink color, but we've got a lot of good buttons in this jar. So that was really good. And the jar itself is, looks like cocoa is what it says on the bottom of it. Something, oh, U.S. Patent um, on the bottom of the jar. So that was, that was fun in there. Let me see more of the binding, more binding. Oh, is this a lot? Oh, elastic. This will be good for face masks. That was a good find. Uh, let me see what else do we have in here. Card of random buttons. Some more bobbins. Uh, I'm not sure what that is. And then I think that was for, is that for uh, paper clips, I think? So that was a good one because this, this was a really good find in there. Oh, and don't forget, um, watch through to the end of the video. And if you would, in the comment section, let everybody know what your favorite find was from this uh, goodie bag bonanza that I'm calling it. Uh, let me see. I think that is it for that kind of like sewing sort of notion bags. Then we had, these were really cute. I don't know anything about these dolls. I just thought that they were really adorable. So for $2... It's a set of three of them. Oh, they're they're older, I think. Made in Taiwan. Yep. We have this little girl here. And they're just kind of a firm filling in them. 1975 Wolf. What is that? Wolf Pit Enterprises. Made in Taiwan. Surface wash only. So that's part of the, her tag there. So we have this little girl here. And then we have this one here with her little bonnet on. So cute. Like I said, I know nothing about these. Look at her little stockings on her legs. They're just adorable. They just caught my eye. And I thought these might be appealing to somebody. So I'm kind of thinking most of everything that I'm showing you here is going to be for resale. So if you do happen to see anything that you might be interested in, in uh, purchasing directly from me, go ahead and shoot me an email in the address that will be in the, the uh, description box for the video and we'll see what we can work out. Next bag, $2. This is pretty cool. I, at least I'm hoping it's going to be. Uh, so first we have, let go. <laughs> ah, let go. Okay, we have just this kind of random wall hook. This I actually could use out of my deck. So this I think I am going to be keeping. Unless, no, wait a minute. Now it might go with these, do you think? See, so what was in the bag that intrigued me about it were these little, little plaques. They're iron. It's by Kate McRosty. And it was, it's the 12 days of Christmas. And I did make sure that they were all there. So we have seven, four, uh, six, 11. Uh, there's a partridge in a pear tree, number one. And then two, three, Nine. They're really pretty. Eight. Ten. <laughs> We're getting there. Twelve. And five. So I believe that's all of them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, yep, 11, 12. They're all there. So I'm not sure, honestly, if this goes with it or not, but it would be a cute way, you know, to display them on a wall and change them out for the 12 days of Christmas. I don't know. You let me know. What do you think? Would you use this hook with these or would you do something else um, to hang these up and display them on the different days of, you know, the 12 days of Christmas? 
And then also in that bag was this, which I'm really not sure what it is. And I don't know that it would be used any way to display these. There's no way to hang anything. So I'm not sure what this piece is. So that was a fun bag, I think. I'm glad I got that. The next one was $2. So we do kind of have a running theme here on price. It always makes me nervous when they put, you know, the breakables in these bags because of the way that, you know, they're not treated the best sometimes. But I picked it, this bag up for these salt and pepper shakers. Happiness is found in little things. So there's the one. I mean, they're in really good condition. They're missing their corks, but that's not a big deal. I have corks. And here is the other one. They're so cute. And that says the same thing. So is it the same pattern? Yes, it is. It's the same pattern on both the salt and the pepper shakers. And I don't see any marks. There's no marks on the bottom. So I don't know if these are vintage or if they're more modern. My guess would be they're on the vintage side, but I, I can't be certain of that. And then also in that was this little hat, this little ceramic hat, no markings on it. That's what the back of it looks like. I, I'm not sure if you could put a tea light candle in there or not, but there was also that in the bag. Next, we have this one. I bought this bag for one thing in it. So we'll see what else is in there. So this was $2. Let me show you the thing that I bought it for. And it is this frame, picture frame. There are dried flowers in it, if you can see, but then you can, you can make out it's a bubble frame or the domed frame. With the, look at the velvet is even coming off of the back of it. So this is a really pretty vintage picture frame. So that is the reason why I got this particular bag. The other things that are in it, just so we can go through it, uh, there are two of these kind of ornaments that you can put pictures in. And a random little bag of those stones. Another real random bag of rocks. <laughs> and his greatest gift, exclusively for Miles Kimball, this ornament here. So we got all that extra stuff in there just to get this, but I think it was worth it for $2. We have, I think, just one more bag to go through. This one, again, was $2. And these I thought would be really cool uh, for, you know, a picnic on the back table or just, you know, just a, a little something, a little gathering at home. And it's these little serving pieces. They're so cute. Ketchup in one, maybe, mustard in the other one. See, I don't see any markings on this one. They had kind of a nautical feel to me with the rope that's on them. And then we have the second one. Again, nope, no marks on this. This looks like it could be bamboo, I think. And then there's the spoon for that one. I thought that was a cute, cute little set. So I'm gonna say that's a condiment, condiment set for $2. Okay, so my favorite thing out of everything that I've shown you from these goodie bags, I do have, I have a couple of favorites, but my favorite favorite, I think is going to be the jar of these buttons, because there's a lot of buttons in there, some really neat looking vintage buttons. So that is my favorite. So again, if you would, in the comment section down below, please let everyone know what your favorite find was from this uh, goodie bag bonanza video. Um, I will be back on Sunday for my weekly Sunday thrift haul video as well as a little sneak peek into what I will be having for sale on Monday, which will be my next live sale. And I think I'm going to do another live Christmas sale. I think I have enough that I can do a second one. So I hope you tune in. I'll give you more info on Sunday. And until then, everyone, please take very, very good care of yourselves. And thank you so much for watching. Bye for now.